Hi, I'm Laura Brewery and I inspire advisors to kill it online through social media and offline through relationship management. In today's episode... <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Verley and I inspire advisors to kill it online through social media and offline through relationship management. In today's episode, I'm sharing with you how to search alumni on LinkedIn. This is an absolute gold mine for you and the reason why is because one, it's a little known feature on LinkedIn, it's kind of buried, and two, you have an instant connection point with that individual because you've both gone to the same university. So where are they found? They're found under My Network and then Alumni. LinkedIn will default to the most recent school or university that you have on your profile. In my case, it's Ryder University. When you land on that page, you will see how many people on LinkedIn have gone to that university, and then you could quickly find your ideal prospect by using all the filters as well as a keyword search. So let's take a look at how to do that. Once you're on LinkedIn, you're going to click on My Network, Find Alumni. When the page loads, it will default to the university that is last listed on your profile. In my case, it's Ryder University. You'll notice that there's over 31,000 people that have gone to Ryder University. This page is rather interesting because clearly you don't want to look at the 31,000 people that are listed below you want to make your search very targeted. So how do you do that? Well, you can use these six search filters right here. The easiest thing to do is click on the show more button. And now all you simply have to do is click on the bar charts that you're interested in. Let's say for example, we were looking for pharmaceutical individuals in the greater New York City area. So I simply click on greater New York City. There's 16,114 and you'll see the numbers reflected up here. Let's say I'm looking for folks, again, in pharmaceutical, J&J, &J, Bristol Myers Squibb, and now we're down to 312 individuals. This arrow right here enables you to get to the additional three search filters. And of course, as we know, we love the second degree connections because that's a sweet spot on LinkedIn. We click on that, and now you, I'm down to 17 individuals in the pharmaceutical industry. Where do I find these folks so I can look at them? The results are at the bottom of the page. So they're here, but a really great feature is if I click on any of them, what I can do is I can just start paging through these individuals to find out who I want to take a deeper look at. So here's one individual. If that's someone I'd like to go by, I just click on this right arrow. And you will notice that in the bottom left-hand corner, it will show you who you know that knows that individual, how you're connected. In this case, I have four first degree connections that are connected to this individual, clearly making it that much easier to get in front of that person because our first connection point is the fact that we both went to Ryder and the second connection point is that we know somebody in common. Another great feature in the LinkedIn alumni search is the fact that you can quickly change universities. Change it to a local university, that way you could take that conversation offline as quickly as possible when you find your ideal prospect. In my case, I changed it to Princeton University. I now have access to over 50,000 people. Again, I'm gonna use those easy search filters to whittle it down to find my ideal prospects. As mentioned, you can change your university. So let's say, for example, you live in an area like I do, and it has a lot of universities within the geographic footprint. What you can simply do is go up here, click on Change University, and I would more than likely take a look at who I know that went to Princeton University for prospecting reasons. All you simply have to do is click Change University. I selected Princeton, and you'll see here I now have over 62,000 individuals that I can now go through. In addition, instead of using these filters, you can also use keyword search. So let's say, for example, I was looking for C-suite executives that went to Princeton. I could simply put in CEO or CFO or CTO. I can hit enter. And now I'm down to 4,585 people, clearly too many to comb through. Now I can use these filters to further refine my search. Same thing, New York City. Maybe I want to look at the, the C-suite executives that are at 
McKinsey and Company. And now I'm down to five individuals and I scroll down to the bottom of the page and that is where those five individuals are displayed that I can then go through and pre-qualify as to whether or not they are somebody that I would like to get in front of. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, swingbyloraverley.com, follow me on Twitter, and like me on Facebook. Thanks for joining. Because you've both gone to the same university. So, where are we going and what are we saying? <laughs> Another great feature in LinkedIn through the alumni search. Another great feature in the link in the. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode, I'm sharing with you how not to get your lipstick and your hair all tangled together.